Hi, my name is Nick and today we're going to take a look at how to use the availability statuses inside Microsoft Teams. This is an incredibly useful feature that lets you control whether your status is away um, or busy, etc. And there's some new functionality coming to Microsoft Teams uh, in the coming weeks that actually allows this to be uh, customized even further. Um, so as always, guys, if you do find this useful, then you guys know what to do. And with that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams and have a look at how to use these statuses more effectively. OK, so here we are just inside Microsoft Teams. And I am just going to, uh, as you see, I'm in the activity feed currently, um, in order to actually access the um, you know, statuses, you actually have to head over to your avatar in the top right hand corner here. And from here, you'll see this available uh, or busy or whatever it is currently set to. Uh, and just hovering above this uh, status, you'll have a full list of statuses available to use in Microsoft Teams. Now, there's a lot of integration between uh, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft um, uh, My Analytics as well. And um, it basically kind of uh, keeps all of your statuses in sync. So if you have an appointment inside your Outlook app, um, then that will obviously appear uh, and make you look uh, as if you're busy in Microsoft Teams during that time. So there's a lot to, to kind of cover here, right? So obviously you have the ability to set your statuses manually. So you have the available, the busy, do not disturb. Um, and those are the three kind of like really basic ones that you should be familiar with if you've used things like Skype, etc. before. Um, so busy comes up when uh, you're in a meeting. Uh, so that could be a Teams meeting or an appointment via uh, Microsoft Outlook. Do not disturb. You can set this one to kind of like uh, allow you to block out a period of time. Um, you know, and it's kind of more kind of manual uh, set. So basically you just assign do not disturb more manually than uh, if you were just to use appointments, uh, etc. Then you've got a couple more here. So you've got the be right back uh, and you can use this if you're going to be away from your desk for, I don't know, let's say 30 minutes or so, you could utilize that one. And um, the appear away is, uh, is relatively useful as well. Um, you know, if you want to kind of have some time to just get on with a, a task or two. And then the other one uh, is the appear offline. So if you don't want uh, individuals to know that you're actually online available, you can actually now set this as a to appear offline. Now this is a new feature that's just rolled out into Microsoft Teams. Um, this never used to be here. Um, you know, this is relatively new and they're going to give us also the ability to customize periods of time uh, in the coming weeks as well. So you'll be able to say whether or not, uh, you know, you want to appear offline for one hour, two hours uh, or a custom block altogether. So really, really useful stuff there in order to kind of uh, be able to customize your statuses. Now, if we hop over to the calendar um, and we just go and have a look at the, um, just the whole entire week. We can see here that I have all of these uh, live stream meetings uh, every single day, right? And ultimately, you know, when we get to this uh, meeting, my status will automatically be updated uh, to appear as busy, right? I'm in a meeting, I'm busy. Now, the same thing applies when you, if I go over to my Outlook calendar here, if I were to put a meeting in uh, right now, uh, just here, so an appointment in just here, and I could just say test, uh, appointment and I'll let this run for an hour um, and just click on um, close on that. So here I am inside this uh, meeting currently, just had the, the pop-up notification here um, so I can just dismiss that. Um, right, so now that's been set, I can come back to Microsoft Teams here and sometimes there's a bit of a delay, a bit of a lag between the two. Find the quickest way I find to do um, get this meeting to appear is to actually kind of just click inside uh, and out um, to make sure that uh, the meeting is here um, and obviously I, from here I can come in I can, and I can edit and I can do the editing of this appointment directly in Teams I don't need to go back into um, you know Microsoft Outlook to edit this particular task um, so when this meeting here actually happens you'll notice now that my icon in the top here in my status has changed to now being busy right so uh, basically now you know Microsoft Teams fully integrated with uh, Outlook, knows that there's an appointment that I'm currently uh, partic participating in, and therefore my status is automatically updated to busy. Now there's lots of things that you can do to kind of streamline this even further. Um, so 
for example, if we um, if we take a look at uh, something else such as I just uh, come over to here. If you go to your office.com and there's an app called My Analytics, and from My Analytics, there's something called Focus, which allows you to actually put focus time directly into your diary. So if I click on focus here, we can see and uh, we can get started and basically allow for focus time uh, to happen. And with focus time, uh, if you haven't used it before, you can basically automatically block out one or two hours in your calendar so you can focus on your tasks. Um, and by doing so this, uh, if you set up your uh, analytics to do this for you, then your Microsoft Teams status here will automatically be updated um, in line with those um, analytic focus times that have been set for you. So um, another really great way to kind of automatically handle your statuses as well and allow you to continuously um, uh, make sure that everyone is aware of the, you know, what you're doing. So, you know, if you're going to be using things like focus time, which I do highly recommend if you're uh, a project manager, for example, and you have constant calls and constant messages uh, and meeting requests, etc., then actually using something like focus time to update your status uh, as busy, etc., is actually really, really powerful and useful. So I do recommend going to check out uh, my analytics and I'll probably do an additional video just around that because I think setting that up is also a really crucial uh, thing to do if you're an incredibly busy individual at work. Now, the other thing that we can do here with statuses is actually set a status message. So in a similar kind of uh, way that you're gonna get those out of office responses with Outlook, you can do the similar thing within Microsoft Teams here. So instead what you do is you go ahead and click on this uh, status message. Um, and basically when someone uh, uses the at symbol to uh, you know, mention you in a post or um, something like that, or even if they message you directly, um, you can then basically automatically notify them that you're not currently uh, available, right? So if you're away uh, for a period of time, this is actually really, really powerful and useful. So you could just say um, away uh, from desk, for example, here. Um, and then show uh, when people message you and then basically clear this message after a period of time. So you could obviously say, you know, never clear it, keep it constant. Um, one hour um, or so if you're going away for lunch, you could just say gone to lunch for an hour. Um, four hours if you want to block out a huge amount of time um, just for today, uh, just for this week or more better still, you can actually go and do a custom end date to this thing. So if you wanted to, you can say, okay, let's run this um, through until Friday here um, and I can then say Friday at uh, 8 p.m. and click done. Now that is going to set this message and it's going to basically say I'm away from my desk uh, until um, the 20th there uh, uh, at 8 p.m. Now by doing this it's like uh, almost like an out of office but for Microsoft Teams you get this uh, grey bar letting you know that uh, you've got a message status set um, and everyone else when they message you will also get this message or if they use the app symbol uh, in a post anywhere as well. So really powerful and useful feature there just to kind of make sure that um, you are utilizing you know, the technology that we have here. But uh, furthermore, you know, we're going to get the ability to also use these uh, within a custom time frame as well in the coming weeks. So we'll be able to say, do not disturb for one hour, four hours, half a day, a day, or custom. So in the same way that we can do the uh, message, we'll also be able to set any of these statuses um, for a period of time as well. So really useful stuff. So do go ahead and uh, have a go with um, setting those status updates. I think it's a super fun and easy way um, to start uh, making sure that everyone in your organization knows um, what is going on. Uh, and as always, if you did find uh, this video useful, then you know what to do. Um, and with all of that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.